So the wait is over, we can finally get going. Welcome to everybody who has joined us for this unmissable game. Hugely anticipated, hugely hyped, undoubtedly the place to be at this moment in time. And the mood is boisterous. It is a perfect ambiance for the central characters who are ready now to perform. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Will shut. He'll try from distance. And no one is overly concerned about that. Well, he's hit it well enough for me. I suppose it could be a, a deliberate attempt to, to just draw that defence out. Haaland. Here we go then with this bundle of joy and excitement that has always been Ronaldinho. His career, a thing of legend. But Jim, if you were to name just one game that defines him, it would be, well, I think undoubtedly it has to be the away game in Madrid back in 2005. He himself scored two second half goals, but I can never forget the scenes when the home fans started applauding him. The moment when even the worst of enemies had to admire what he did on that night. It was an extraordinary sight. It's a good spell of possession, this. Oh, that's wonderful alertness. He's going for goal! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. I think he's done great there, both reading it and dealing with it. And it's to Bruyne. Messi. That's a terrific surge down the right. Mbappe, it's Neymar! And that has earned a few nods of approval from the bench. Well, height could make all the difference on, on these set pieces. And now a sudden chance to counter. Konate, neither side yet able to force a breakthrough here. 
aimed beyond the defence. He is through here. Well, he certainly wasn't in the mood to take any risks. Neymar. Now it's Haaland. Neymar goes on a charge down the left. He's found a way through. Now it's Lewandowski. Now the finish! Goal! Sao Paulo! Well, was he ever going to miss that? Of course he wasn't. Yeah, it's mystifying that a player of his talent wasn't picked up sooner, and he picked them off instead. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Foot in. And that's surely a foul free kick. Costa Curta. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. Oh, what's he done? And the finish! He's got a goal! What a moment for the triple centurion for one of this team's favourite sons. And it's played into the middle. Yeah, I think if that can be repeated, um, there's a good chance of a goal. Utrecht do have options available on the bench if they want to go that way. Maratona. Passing is crisp and sharp. Sao Paulo needed that. They really needed it. Well, I thought they got off lightly there. The odds were stacked against them. De Bruyne. Can he get it through? Valverde. Oh, great feet, that. Messi. Messi! It's loose, and there's a race for the ball. And the referee has brought play back and shown him a yellow card. Substitution in progress. There's a defensive height advantage here, Peter, but of course it's it's not guaranteed to work. Yeah, they need to be thinking in terms of guile, deception, don't they? Now there's a fine ball. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Mbappe. Half an hour gone in the second half. Now it's Haaland. And the ball's a big chance! Oh, should have put that away. Well, we could be headed for a scenario in which next goal is the winner. That chance could have been it too. It's their second corner of the game. And he's had a hit! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong may come right. And it's Lewandowski. Now it's Stoichkov, now it's Messi. Rudiger. Still anyone's game, this. One moment can decide it. Well, a goal either way at this stage would qualify as a steal. He's in plenty of space here. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Goalkeeper's ball. Mbappe. And the counter is on. Nesta gets across to intercept that. 
Maratona. Oh, just skips past his man. And the referee brings it to a close. So it's ended all square, both sides showing battling qualities and neither willing to give in. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Listen, the more this game went on, a draw was always likely to be on the card. So, overall, I don't think anyone will be complaining too much about what they've got. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.